Hi friends, here through this tutorial, we are going to give you a very basics of great interest string programming language Java's conditional statement and operators being used and their implementations. Here are the operators. Basic operators, arithmetic, relational, bitwise, logical, assignment and misc. We are going to learn about the very basic operators like arithmetic, relational, logical and assignment which are most often used in our program. Arithmetic operations are the are few that are used to calculate uh, like calculation basis arithmetic operations like addition subtraction and relation is going to compare two different type of apparents like equal to whether it is greater than or less than and logical operators obviously like and or not operations are performed through these operators. Going to assignment operators these are the five basic types of assignment operators what we are going to use in our Java program. Apart from this primary operators, we are having the ternary operators like conditional operator which is used in our Java program. This operator consists of three operands and it is used to evaluate boolean expressions. You might have heard about the boolean expressions and all those stuffs uh, mainly with our programming stuffs we might have heard about it initializing like swapping two values and so on now going to conditional statements we are having four basic conditional statements in our java program which includes which executes a program based on some conditions if statement if else nested if and switch statement first with if statement basically we begin with the if statement along with the condition in its braces and the main content followed by to practically explain you how this program works, you are going to implement you a basic program which could explain you how this if statement and following conditional statements works. For the Java program, we have to include a package which is necessary for the operations what we are going to perform. Basically, we are going to give an input output and although deal with all those steps We are using the package input output package declaring the name of the class as check. We are going to check a value So the class name can be declared as check followed by public static void main Arguments string arguments. We are going to use Then before using any statement uh, this is mandatory to include the variable what we are going to use in the program here we are using an integer integer variable which is a number num the value of uh, the variable can be pre initialized either by the programmer or can be got from the progr program user the executor too here we are initializing the numbers value as 8 and inside if condition we are giving the uh, condition as whether the number is divisible by 2 that is if, if it returns a value 0 the, it is, if it gets a remainder as 0 it has to display the output as even number it is obvious when a number is divisible by 2 it is eventually an even number saving a program is very much required in java programming a perfect saving can yield a perfect result Since we have our class name as check, it is better if we keep the file name to with the same name along with extension Java. The type is all files so that it could include all types of files in any situation. Using the command prompt, we are going to execute the Java program, compile and execute. First, since the file name is saved in desktop, we are going to that location through CD space desktop followed by compiling command like java c space name of the document what we save that is check along with its extension java java c is just the simplification of java compiler which is going to compile our program yeah successfully the program is compiled for execution the command is java space file name without any extension since the number is given as 8, it is obviously an even number, so we get the result as even. Going to if else statement, it is just an extension of if statement where we include the alternative else statement. If the if statement goes wrong, it moves automatically to else statement. 
This can be easily implemented practically with the extension of program what we wrote already. This is a if statement. If the number is divisible by 2, it returns even. To explain you what is else, if the number is not divisible by 2, it must return the value as the number is odd. The same output statement type of statement is copied and instead of even, odd is altered. Saving the same file. You can give it a save as so that it makes changes with the program what we saved it already. It is asking for replacement. We are replacing the previous program with the program what we extended the extended with the if else statement. Extension is must. Saving the program. Now the command prompt to compile the program. Now the number is initialized is given as 9 instead of uh, 8 so that we could get the alternative result. Since it is odd, we could get the result as odd number. Compiling the program. Successfully compiled. Followed by execution. Since it is odd number, it re returns the result as odd. Going to nested if statement, it is a simple to explain from its name. Like one if statement is enclosed within an another if statement. If the condition goes true, it goes inside the loop of if, if statement, nested if statement. If it goes false, goes false, it will directly move to the other end else statement. We are simply extending the same program like if a number is greater than 0, it is obviously a positive number and if that positive number divisible by 2, it is even number, else it is a positive odd number. Plotting the space is mandatory to explain you in brief with Java programming. Space play a vital role for understanding, but it is not required in all the Java programs. The basic developed coder won't use such tab spaces to use. Simply for your understanding, we make it as the big tab spaces. The number greater than zero is obviously a positive number. And when it is divisible by 2, it is a even number, so even and positive, else it is positive and odd. Going to the other end of the if statement, else statement is given. It doesn't require any conditions to be enclosed with. Simply a if else statement within it or a simply output statement is enough to enclose the else statement. If the number is not greater than 0, that is, it is obviously a negative number and when that negative number is divisible by 2, it is a negative even number, else it is a negative odd number. Only the new Java programming coders can easily identify what this if else statement, nested if statement is all about. The file is saved. It's time for compiling and execution. Command prompt. Compiling the program. Successfully compiled it seems. No, we are getting an error. The error is like the variable, no, variable number what we gave at the beginning is number and the condition what we gave within the if statement is is different from the integer what we declared above. So changing the variable name, saving the file, executing again. This mistake is done 
to make you understand what are the possibility of errors possibility of error that would you would make when you execute the program since the number is 9 which is a positive number and it is not divisible by 2 we had the output as positive or now we are giving a negative number as initialized value compiling it again executing it again we are getting the output as negative and odd that simple definition to if if else statement a if statement now going to switch statement it is simply a branching statement which have number of statements enclosed within a same condition it moves to from one statement to another statement if based on the condition to explain you in detail a simple program could deliver you all the possibilities this also deals with all the input output attributes so we are using a package input output and the class name grade i hope uh, we are going to calculate the grade of the students public static void main it string arguments in case of any exceptional situation if you feel like it may arise like dividing a number with zero it goes with uh, exception ex extension we are not going to that topic presently for this we are going to use uh, some string as input values so we are using uh, the data type type as uh, variable data type as character and we are initializing the value of variable what we are going to use as c now the main part switch statement and the condition enclosed within with the it is not exactly the condition it is a variable what we are going to use in our program it is enough to declare a variable alone within the switch statement so as to switch on to the statements within enclosed within now the cases are as follows case a and its output if the given input is a it returns this result excellent as well can be right if possible fine then it is mandatory to close each and every statement with the uh, with the key call break so that it switches from one statement to another if that returns a value as false if that value doesn't matches like if you don't get the correct value of what you entered as a variable it has to switch to the another statement to get some possible result right so it seems a a grade b grade c grade d grade and e grade the toughest grade ever a grade excellent followed by all other grades b c d and e making few changes with the program so as so that you can understand it easily ho oh, bad pathetic sorry it's very bad obviously it's very bad moving on to the default statement this default statement is not mandatory in all switch statement but it will be unambiguous like a user who is going to use the program will find it comfortable what error he did like if we give some values any variables apart from the variable what we included in our program it will result it will give some output so that the user can understand something apart from what they are expecting is entered if a grades apart from like a b c d e e 
when some other grades are given it will return the output as invalid grade after that switch statement enclosure all other statements are not required in explaining about switch statement but for users understanding it is being typed it will display the what our grade is enclosing all the enclosures changing the name of the class is essential in this program because we declare the variable as variable name as grade so that this can be changed as result and be saved making changes with last code command prompt sorry for the capture video window we couldn't delete it going to the desktop the location of the file it's about the compilation of the program java c file name dot java it is successfully compiled going to obtain the result for what we entered that's result c c grade your grade is c and the Command is good. Thank you for watching our tutorial. Thank you for spending your time. We will give you a lot. Thank you.